Hey guys, Ashley here, and today I will be showing you what I got for Christmas and my birthday. Um, so, for starters, I, act, I got this little guy who I am holding, and his name is Pasha. Well, his name's Pavel, but uh, I'm just going to mostly call him Pasha. He's named actually after the hockey player that I'm wearing a shirt for right now. But anyway, let's go ahead and get over here my bed. I'm not going to sit down. I'm just going to kind of handhold the camera for this because it'll just be a bit easier this time. So it shouldn't be too long of a video because I mostly just get, it's mostly just like my family gives me just money now. So I don't have as much to show as I did like the very first year and maybe less than last year too, but I'm not actually sure about that. So we should probably start with my birthday. So we'll go over here and you guys saw me open her as an early birthday present from Elise. I got this 35th anniversary Cabbage Patch Kid. This is Jenna Kate from my great aunt. I got an NHL 2003 game for PlayStation 2. I thought that was really cool. I have a couple for PlayStation 2. One that I found at the Salvation Army, I believe it was. It might have been Goodwill. I'm pretty sure it was Salvation Army. But I don't have a 2003 one, so that is really cool. And I got this camera from my mom, and this is a, I guess I should say my mom and my dad, but anyway, it was, it's an instant camera, it's really cool. So the film goes in like this back thing here, and then it just, it gives like little mini Polaroids, in fact, let me show you over here on my wall, I've got a couple that I took of my mom's dogs. Her pug Maya, and then her pit bull Brandy. They're such sweet dogs, but, um, anyway. So, now on to what... Well, this blanket, I don't know whether to classify it as Christmas or birthday, because it was going to be a present originally, and we got the cloth for it at Joanne Fabrics. Like, I was actually there when we got the cloth, and the idea was that, because uh, it was my great aunt who wanted to do this, and the idea was that I would pick out which one I wanted and she would make it into a blanket. It's got like the fringe on it. In the end, I ended up helping make the blanket and it was decided that I could just have it whenever I wanted, which was actually a really good idea because my room does get kind of cold sometimes. So it's nice to have an extra blanket and it is so soft. Like I love this blanket and when it's a bit warmer, I can sleep with just this one because it's thinner than my quilt. So this is really nice blanket. All my things from my great aunt were like hockey related. She got me the game, the blanket, and then um, I guess technically Elise did help with this blanket as well, I should mention. But anyway, and then the other thing from her for Christmas was this air hockey table. And this is actually made of wood. It's really nice. It's heavy. And you just have to snap the pieces on to use it, and then that's the box it goes in. I actually used to have an air hockey table when I was younger, and it was plastic, and we had it just for years and years, and it belonged to my older cousin originally, and then it eventually just kind of broke, and the, the fan gave out in it, so we had been looking to get another one, so this was absolutely perfect. Um, me and Elise actually played a couple rounds on Christmas Day, and it just works so well. Okay, so moving on this way, uh, from my mom and my brothers and my dad for Christmas, I got this giant Mickey Tsum Tsum, which I think is so cool. I don't have, I don't think I have any other plush Tsum Tsums, but I think that uh, they're really nice. I absolutely love the plush ones and want to get some more, but the thing is, I just don't have a lot of room for the plushies. I want to get, like, the little Winnie the Pooh ones, though. Like, I saw one of Eeyore that's really cute. Anyway, and then... We got this Disney travel mug. It doesn't have the lid, but I have some lids that'll fit it because I actually collect these Disney mugs. They are so nice. They're kind of like, they're kind of insulated, so they're good to keep things hot or cold. And the ones, a lot of the ones I have are actually smaller than this. So this one's really nice because it's bigger, so it holds a bit more. And I just love the, all the characters on it. A lot of the ones I have are just from various resorts, and so is this one. It says Celebrate Today Disney Parks, but I have, like, a lot of resort-specific ones. And the thing is, I've never actually been to Disney, but I collect the mugs when they turn up at the thrift stores around here. Um, and then the last item from them, well, not, the, not technically the last item, which I'll explain in a minute, is this Bugs Bunny watch. 
and this is it's got the right time on it and everything it works just thought I, would, I don't know why I felt the need to mention it works of course it works but um the other I have another watch that I'd been using a Minnie Mouse watch but it started to kind of stop sometimes so I actually did need a new watch so there's that I was actually I use been using this a lot um, and I do have technically two other things from them. One that my brothers forgot to give me, apparently, and I don't know what, what it is, but I figured I'd film this anyway because I just, I wanted to get it filmed before the new year. And then the other item is the big item that my mom got me, which is another Paradise Galleries baby. Uh, I got this little guy myself. Um, he is the Lions, Tigers, and Bears baby. I don't think I mentioned that when I was holding him at the beginning. And he came with these three outfits. This goes with what he's wearing. And then he came with this lion one. And then, oh no, this is the tiger, sorry. And then the lion one, and I love the fringe on this hat. I'm gonna change him into that. I don't know if he'll be on camera or not, but I am gonna change him into it. And this blanket. And that was, because I was getting him as a present for myself, um, that's how I knew my mom was getting me a Paradise Galleries baby, because I told her. So she ha kind of had to tell me that she was getting me one because she didn't want to get me the same one. And in the end, she said she was going to, I'm pretty sure she said she was going to get me one of the Asian ones. So I don't know other than that what one she's getting me. But this is who I got for myself because I've been wanting another boy. And it came down between him and Chunky Monkey. And I almost got Chunky Monkey and he was, but he was sold out. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to get lions, tigers, and bears in, because I was really fine with either and was having such a hard time making a decision, so kind of, my decision was kind of made for me, and that, that worked for me, honestly. Okay, and then from, oops, then from my cousin Brandon, I got the Complete Teen Titans series, another, like, I just love everything I got, it just, this is... Like, I had been wanting the complete series. I actually saw it at Walmart while I was with him and said that I was going to get it eventually. I just didn't have the money at the time. And I had had, which I ended up giving my brother what I had already had. I had seasons one and two on DVD when they were releasing single season sets. And then I was never able to find any after uh, one, two, and then the movie. So I was never able to complete my collection. So I got this and I've been rewatching it. It doesn't look like I opened it. because I left some of the plastic on, but I did open it. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Really nice. And um, then from Elise, we got, I got this uh, train. Well, I should say, I guess it is technically a train. I was going to say engine, but she does have two cars. She is technically a train. Uh, Lexi, for my... Atomic Trackmaster set. I already had Thomas and Percy, but Lexi is really cool. She's an experimental engine She's from the Journey Beyond Sodor movie, as you can see, and she is built uh, backwards, so she is actually really cool. You can see she's all rusty, just like in the movie, because they're kind of like abandoned experiments. So that's really neat to see some of the others in this set. And then from Elise, I got this really cool dollhouse. This is one of the uh, Calico Critters ones. And this is just like the starter home. You can see the front the door opens. The shutters on the window open. I don't know if you can see too well. You can see pretty good. So the shutters on the windows open. And it's two stories. But this can actually be um, attached to, I think it's the mansion. And it came with the furniture you see in here and the one doll, the little rabbit. And then this was a stocking item right here. I got this little poodle, and she came with a purse, and her name, I forget, her, or her name's Laura. I was gonna say I forgot her name, but no, I remember, because she got the same name as one of my aunts. I haven't named the rabbit yet, but I will. And then I also got the uh, rabbit family, and this isn't open yet, because I just got this uh, today, because Elise wanted to get me the family to go with the house, but... She wasn't able to find the rabbit family, so we just actually got this today. And you can see because of this, uh, the rabbit that came with the house is also in the set. So now she's twins, so I have to come up with a name or names for them. And then there's the family. They might have a slip in here that has their names on it because, like right here, you can see I got the 
I also got the Little Rabbit Twins, and their names are in this book. Ah, my ear itches. Anyway, their names are in this book here. Um, where is it? Let me find it. It mentions, oh, it's on the back. Honey and Hopper. So these are Honey and Hopper. Uh, this one is Honey, I believe. Yeah, and then the other one is Hopper. And then I got the Hedgehog Twins, but they didn't have their names either. They didn't come with a little book. So I don't know what I'm going to call them yet. I'm just, I've been trying to come up with names. I actually made this furniture from Perler Beads. So these three items were made from patterns on the website. The coffee table, the couch, and the fireplace. You can see you just kind of make a couple of things and then glue these together. It's really cool. And then the cribs were made based on something I found on Pinterest and then kind of modified. And then the shelf I just kind of completely came up with on my own. Though I'm sure other people have made similar things. I was just kind of messing around trying to figure out how I could make a nice little shelf. And this was what I ended up with. This ladder also goes with the, the dollhouse, by the way. You just set it on the side there. And then over here, there's like a big hole because of where it connects to the rest of the house if you get the big one. So I just kept part of the thing that was in here. So that it just looks like a window instead. Okay, so that was everything that I got for my birthday and Christmas. Uh, obviously, with the exception of the new Paradise Galleries doll that I haven't got yet. And whatever my brothers forgot to give me. And I absolutely love everything I got for Christmas. So, thank you to my family for everything. And thank you guys for watching. And if you liked it, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye guys! Just cutting the camera back on real quick because I forgot to show this item. This is just, this one's really cool. This is a, a Star Trek Hot Wheel USS Vengeance. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, I want to call it a car, but really it's just like a, it's not a car. It's just a diecast model of the ship. And this was also a stocking item. I completely forgot to show that to you guys. So there it is. It is really cool. I'm debating not opening this one, but I really don't have the space to keep a lot of things in package. So it'll probably get open and displayed on my desk. Just like my, um... Actually, I don't think I have it on my desk right now, but just like I had my uh, model of the Milano from um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know why I couldn't think of that for a minute. Okay, so now that actually is everything. Bye, guys!